Hi there, my name is Elaine Economo and I'm here for Move Wellness to share with you some exercises for people who sit a lot. If you have to sit for long durations of time, either in a car, at a desk, or maybe in a chair, you, we want you to think about trying to keep movement in your spine and to take frequent breaks. So vary your routine uh, so that you can uh, maybe take a break every hour, go for a walk, uh, do some of these stretches and make sure that you are moving frequently throughout the day. For long, over your lifetime, that will have the most positive effect uh, and mitigate the negative impact of sitting so that you can continue to move in ways that you love. So what I'd like to do is just show you a few of the things that we encourage people to do. Some of them can be done right from your chair, but we want you to get up and stand. I'll show you a couple of those and make sure you're moving around and then maybe at some point during the day you get to lie down and rest. Uh, and stretch the body that way as well. So for starters, we'll sit and lift your arms up over your head and exhale, bringing some breath into the trunk with the eyes and the sternum reach through the fingertips and should feel kind of nice to just lengthen the waist, yawn through the body and, and then lift the arms, take them right behind your head Lift your sternum and your eyes, press your head gently back into the hands and let your elbows move away from each other. They can melt down, your shoulders melt down away from your ears as you look up and then release. And then one more look up and release down. And then from here, let's move your spine in the lateral plane. So we're gonna do a little lateral flexion. Imagine your ribs as an accordion here. So you're lifting and spreading the ribs like an accordion as you inhale and stretch, inhale up and stretch and exhale back to the center. Should feel nice. And you can do these standing. You can do them lying down, probably not lying down actually. These are best on um, sitting or standing. And you can reach your arms out in front and spiral open and close and open. You want to imagine you're turning, turn right from the sternum, let your eyes um, go as well, looking at the fingertips in the back, your shoulders are melting away from your ears, your waist is long, your spine is long, and you're moving with a breath. and then come back from there. So from here, let's get into the hips a little bit. So ankle over your knee, and uh, if you can't, crossing your knees is fine, but if you can get to this position, make sure you're upright on your pelvis and you're still even through the hips and you have a long spine and just lean forward. And you'll feel the stretch, nice long spine, breathe into it. And then you can just switch legs. Do that a few times on each leg. And then let's do a seated hamstring stretch from here. Just let one foot come forward. Flex your foot, nice long spine, even on the hips again, and lean forward. And then come to upright and lean with the other leg and upright. You can try that a few times for a few breaths on each leg. Open up behind the knee and the hamstring. Both the, the figure four, the piriformis stretch we just did in this one can also be done lying on your back with your uh, leg in the air. And then from here, let's just do some shoulder circles. and this will help keep your shoulders healthy, release some tension that you might hold in your neck and shoulders, like lots of us do. And then from here, what I'd like to do are a couple of standing stretches. Um, the first is a standing cat. You can lean over the back of your chair or the seat of your chair, whichever is more comfortable for your body. If you want more of a stretch through the back of your body, you can lean down onto the seat of your chair. And if you need a little higher perch, you can just hold on to the back of your chair. 
and your spine is in neutral here and you can just curl your tailbone into your angry Halloween cat stretch. Make sure you're not lifting your shoulders to your ears. You're just moving the spine. You're breathing into the back of the body and then you'll articulate right back to neutral. And you inhale here and then you exhale and curl again. You inhale here and you exhale, articulate right back to neutral. And you can, as you're stretching the low back, this should feel nice. You can engage the glutes a little bit and shift your weight back and feel a deeper stretch through the low back. And again, moving with the breath. And from there, you can do some standing lunges. This is a nice, also a balance challenge. So uh, we want to open the front of your hips because it's shortened when you sit. And then we want to stretch it out and lengthen it so that your pelvis can move uh, upright and uh, get you where you need to go in a balanced way with the muscles in your pelvis. So you can take one foot back and uh, it can be as wide as you're comfortable. It can be a big lunge and then it's a big balance challenge and your knee will bend. You'll turn your glute on in the back, open, tuck your tail a bit, and you'll feel the stretch through the front of your hip, maybe into your quad. And you can stay right here if this is a big challenge. And then if you want um, more of a balanced challenge, take your arms over your head. And then if you want even more of a stretch and a challenge, arch over the front leg and you'll feel a stretch maybe up into the belly to the top of your psoas muscle. And you can switch. Try to stay in line with your hips so your feet are not too far apart. You're sort of hugging your midline here is a cue I like to use. As you go into the lunge, you're gonna turn that glute on, tuck your tail and lift your waist. Lift your abdominals up and lift the arms up if you want. You can even lift your chest up a little bit here Again, it's more of a balance challenge. And then you can arch over that front leg a bit. And then you come to upright, hands down, feet together. And the last stretch um, is one that you will do on the mat. So you can lie on your mat and if you work from home, maybe you have one near your desk, but maybe you do this at the end of the day and just release into gravity here. Feels really nice to hug your knees in and give a little massage into the low back. And you can even lift your head if it's right for your body. If you have osteoporosis, that's not a great idea. But for everyone else who feels like they can Feel a stretch through the back of your body. Then you can reach your legs long, uh, open them, maybe the width of the mat, and your arms go over your head into a little X position. And you're gonna just yawn through the whole body here, reaching your feet and your hands away from each other. And then just release into gravity. And you can do that two or three times, making sure that you are stretching every inch of your body so that you feel the whole body moving and you have the quality of a yawn there and then just release into gravity a little bit. So the idea is to bring some balance stimulation to the body throughout the day and not stay in one position. And by turning on those postural muscles, by sitting up straight, it will all help you over time not have any back pain or strain or any of the things that come from sitting for long periods of time. And especially if you get down on the mat at the end of the day, maybe you'll wanna do a few more exercises. You can check out some of our other YouTube videos and see if you'd like to try some of those. So thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave us a comment and let us know if there's anything else you'd like to know about these exercises or any programming at all. Um, you can also reach out to us at office at movewellness.com. Thank you so much.